Okay, so now you're coming to the last part of this task. Um, you've got the assignment brief, so please make sure you read it. Um, and what you're looking at is this part of the assignment brief. So it's the summary and future improvements. And this is a merit task that you are writing. So um, uh, you, you've completed all the analysis, which is CP6, and now you're going to go ahead and do uh, the M3 task. So, so far in your, in your coursework document, you've talked about the questionnaire, you've reviewed your analytic data, you've filled in uh, all those tables and you've got lots of charts and graphs in and you try to make sense of that data. Uh, the last part now is the summary of the results and future improvements. So if you follow the assignment brief really carefully, you'll see that in there it gives you two examples of how to do this. Um, so let me just pull the assignment brief in. So in this task, what you're going to do is you're going to do a write up um, and for each of the four posts that you've done uh, in your optimized post that you've done, you're going to summarize the data that you analyzed. So you're going to summarize everything that you did in P6 and you're going to uh, explain how you would improve each post based on the analysis of that data and on the feedback that you received from um, the questionnaire. So the two examples that you've got, here's the first one. Uh, this is a real piece of student work that failed M3 because of the following reasons. They didn't, first of all, summarize the analyzed data, and that's what the first thing is that you need to do. Uh, so they, they missed half of the assignment out. And then the improvements that they suggested were very, very generalized. Uh, the words from the examiner were they were too superficial and did not relate to individual posts. Um, and they didn't actually base them on the analysis that they did in P6 anyway. Um, and what the examiner is looking for is an accurate and reasoned set of improvements. And that wasn't given here. Here's another example. And we've only just shown you just one of the four posts. Uh, but the examiner considered this one to have a good summary of findings um, and they said it was concise and accurate. So that's the summary of everything that you did in P6. Um, and then the improvement section, which they put into a table. Again, they use the words act um, accurate, reasoned, based on the data and based on the feedback. So all the improvements for that post were based on everything that they gleaned from the analysis they did in P6. Um, there were, this student obviously did write the other three as well to the same standard and they met the M3 requirements. So I'm going to suggest to you that you do um, your summary in a table as well. So I would suggest that you have uh, a table a bit like this, making sure that you always just put your uh, column size is appropriate to what's actually going to go in them. Some people don't adjust the column sizes, which is a uh, uh, schoolboy error, really. So make sure you adjust that. So I might have post one, which was, a, for me, a Facebook poll, whatever it might be. I don't remember. Um, and in here, we would have a summary of findings. And in here, you'd have the improvements or you could call it future improvements, which would be good because it fits better. Um, and then I just want to make sure normal text is going in there. So two, three, four. So in here, just like in the example one, I would want to summarize everything that I did in P6. I would summarize um, all the analytics and I'd summarize all the feedback. And if you're not sure what I mean by the feedback, if we think about the questionnaire, uh, you asked uh, your people to give you feedback. So you need to consider the feedback that was given as well. So a summary of the findings. And then when you write your future improvements, it must be directly related to the summary of the findings that you have in this side of the table. Uh, they So they must relate. So if you, when you get the assignment brief, have a look at how the improvements have been written. Uh, they do actually relate to the findings that uh, were listed on the left hand side. So have a really good look at that. And we are looking for this level accurate reasoned based on the analyzed data and on the feedback received from the questionnaire.
Um, as I say, I suggest you do it in a table. Um, it just keeps it all neat and tidy. But we are, uh, this is the bit where you do need to really think about how you are linking the improvements to that summary that you did uh, in the table. Uh, so that's the M3 task. Uh, good luck with that.